Hello guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. This is episode 29. Today we're gonna to be doing engineering notation. So this should be a pretty quick video because we have our notation set up already. So all we need to do is just hop into our script. We don't need to do anything in Unity. This is all just code related. Okay. Okay, so we have our notation method here. Now, right now, this is scientific notation. So we're gonna have to split this up to numerous ones, or yeah, we're gonna do that. Since this is we're trying to access uh, a non-static class into a static method it's not gonna we can't do um public idle tutorial game game because it's uh non-static so what we're going to do instead is completely add a new thing to our notation method which means we have to replace everything okay so we're going to do int index actually i have an idea so let's add a public static int um, notation settings. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this is go to our settings and we're gonna set notation settings equals to note. Okay, and then we put methods. Okay, that, lo that looks like that should work. Oh, lovely, okay. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do with this is bring this inside. So now it updates every time we change our notation. We also need to have this at the start as well. Okay, so we do methods.notation settings equals data.notation type. Okay, so now we're changing the static version, so it should be global, and we don't have to do anything with the actual method itself. We don't have to add any parameters, so that should work just fine. Now we need a switch case statement. Okay. So we're going to do switch and we're going to do uh, notation settings. And for our first one, it's scientific notation. If it's zero, we have this and we add a break to it. Actually, we don't need a break because we have this return right here. Okay. So then we have, we need our engineering. So let's develop the engineering. Okay. So this is pretty similar, but basically we're just trying to have three numbers instead of one so basically the exponent increases every three instead of one uh if the same thing actually we might as well just add this to the beginning okay because we, we, we don't need we only need to do that once so we're gonna have our exponent bar exponent and that's gonna be equal to three times math no this is just floor so this is floor because we're using big double that floor okay so we're using floor and then we have another floor in here and we divide this by three. Okay. And then it's oops. And then inside the floor, we do math dot log times 10 X. Okay. So what's the difference between this one and this one? Basically we're trying to round up the exponent up to um, every three. So how a floor works is that it rounds the number down to the, uh, round to the the previous integer number. So if we have 4.5, floor will be four, right? Floor 4.5 will be four. Okay. So now what we're doing here in order, oh, we don't need math.log. Oops. It's just log 10. So now what we're doing here is that we are dividing this by three and we are logging it and multiplying it back by three. So we're rounding it down three steps. So if it's five, it'll be three. Okay. If it was six, it'll be six. If it's seven, it'll be six. So that's how that works. And also these need to be, we can also add um, curly braces in here to be able to use the same. This is, let me see if this works. I think it does. Yep, it works. So in order to be able to use the same variable name, you can just add curly braces here. Otherwise it will not encapsulate. Uh, and that means we can't use the same name. We have to do like exponent two or something like that. Something cool I learned. Someone gave me that in the comments. So I really appreciate that. And next is going to be our Mantisa. And this will be similar kind of this. We have the three numbers as well, except, and now actually, yeah, this is it. So now we have our exponent here and yeah, that should be good. Okay. And returning is the same as usual like this. Perfect. So this should be it. We can save. We have an error. Where is our error? It's our somewhere. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. And if it's two, then it will return nothing for now. 
because we still got to develop that. Okay. Hopefully it'll work. I'm guessing it will. And if we have to make this non-static, I'm going to cry. Okay. Looks good so far. Oh, we're gone for two days now. So I'm also really sorry for the slow uploads this week. I'm going to start, I'm going to try to start spacing videos out because I want the series to long quite a bit of time and I don't want to run out of ideas. Even though I have a really long list right now, I just, it's just for the long term. I want to have quite a bit of ideas, but once I start thinking of more things, I will pick up the pace, of course. So there won't be another video till next Thursday or this Thursday. That's why I plan on doing another one of these. And hopefully I'll pick up the pace too. Because I need to catch up. <laughs> okay, so what's going on here? Uh, settings. Where is our settings? Why is our settings not working? This is like not working at all. Why is this not working? Okay, so this go to settings should be working but it's not i put the make gen on this is it like doing anything at all why okay that was weird okay i'm guessing what i'm guessing it's the setting screen it's the canvas group that's screwing up and why i still have a canvas screen i don't know let's get rid of that because this should just be a graphic raycaster yeah okay so yeah, these, th this is a game object, so we can just get rid of this. Okay, so let's save that. Ah, Steam notification, go away, please. Okay, so now it's just not coming back. Why is this not working? It, like, I'm guessing it's because it's behind some text. Okay, that was the reason why. Okay, well, that fixes our issue. Just make sure the, the buttons that need to be on top of the text are dragged at the bottom. Because these things are the higher objects. All right. So now if we go to settings, change to engineering notation, it should work. Okay. I think this is it. Let's get to, let's prestige. Uh, it's main right here. And prestige is not working either. What? Why is wrong? What? All my buttons are just broken now. All of a sudden. Let's see. What's up? Oh, it's missing prestige. Okay. Well, that's kind of an issue. I think we moved our prestige to Earth Prestige Manager. Okay. I totally forgot about that. So hopefully it didn't screw any of you guys up. If it did, I'm sure you guys have commented by now. Okay. Well, now we should be able to prestige. Okay. So it looks like it's working so far. I, I need more upgrades, though. It's simply not enough. Can I rebirth yet? Oh, that's not supposed to show. I think I, I think I'm gonna have to put this on top of the buttons, like that. They're not above the head. It's supposed to look like this. So I don't know what went wrong with that. Uh, okay, let's rebirth. I don't know how much better they really are. Oh, that was, mm, that was kind of a waste. I think got wasted. Okay, but anyways, I let's pick up the game paste so basically we can go here let's test it so one two three four five six and if it's one does that work so now if it's five twenty five it's one hundred e three perfect we got ourselves an, an engineering notation there you go cool anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video if you didn't make sure you smash it a like uh, comment your suggestions down below. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be sure to answer them pretty fast. Anyways, if you're new, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, check out my other videos in that corner. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Peace.